Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, even though it was a somewhat cool Mother's Day weekend, most of it was pretty nice until late yesterday afternoon, right after that cold front came through. After starting the afternoon in the upper 60s, we wound up in the mid-50s with winds gusting nearly 40 miles per hour. So that kind of canceled some of the... Uh, uh, the uh, well, the, the outdoor cooking and, and grills that she had probably fired up for mom uh, yesterday. But a uh, couple more days of this, and uh, we'll see some improvement in a big way, temperature-wise at least, as the week goes on. But you don't need me to tell you it's been a chilly May. Six and a half degrees below the average. Seven of the days have been cooler than normal. And today, for example, our high of 59 and low of 39 is average for the 25th of March. If we could just get average weather for early May, mid-70s would be great. And we got that coming, but we're actually going to go over, well, we're going to leapfrog over that, if you will. After two more chilly days in the low 60s, we jumped to 80 on Thursday. That's still within five degrees of the average. And indications are we'll keep it normal through the weekend. And the latter half of May is actually going to be trending warmer than normal. So kind of one extreme to the other here as we move through this month. But there are your highs from today, 55 to 60, including 58 in Henderson, 59 in Owensboro. And tomorrow will be very similar, just cloudier, uh, with maybe still a little bit of sun, especially in our northern counties. Live first morning Doppler, it's dry right now. Few showers possible tomorrow, mainly down south. They'll begin to increase towards daybreak on Wednesday. Here's a live view from uh, northeast side of Henderson, our Heads Construction Tower camera. Visibility good under a partly cloudy sky, and it's a cold night. 46, we're already below the average low for this time of the year, but the winds have gone calm, and we've got temperatures now generally 45 to 50. We're going to be dropping into the upper 30s to low 40s by sunup tomorrow morning. The colder temperatures will be up here in our our northeastern counties. We got one system on the way out. The one that drug all the cold air down last night behind that front is now departing New England after producing a little more light snow up here. The, the next system coming out of the plains but sliding to the southeast. So most of this rain sliding to our southwest, but we are picking up the cloud cover that will continue to increase overnight tonight. So future tracker, as we take you through the next few days, we do have some changes on the way. Clouds increase for tonight, then a mostly cloudy Tuesday, but for the most part dry. There could be a few scattered showers, mainly in our southern counties and there could be a little filtered sunshine especially north of I-64 in the afternoon but highs a lot like today upper 50s to around 60 but not as windy tomorrow evening will be fine skies remain mostly cloudy but by daybreak on Wednesday scattered showers are moving through so we're going to make this a weather aware day often on showers and some thunder showers also mixing in during the afternoon especially over western Kentucky not expecting anything severe and still kind of chilly highs in the lower 60s now those scattered showers will diminish some on Wednesday night as a warm front approaches from the south. And as that front punches on through Thursday morning, it'll take a few spotty showers with it. We might see the clouds give way to a little sun and the temperature will soar to around 80 degrees on Thursday afternoon. But that will be the day to take advantage of because even though we're going to keep temperatures on the warm side Friday, we've got more numerous showers and thunder showers on the way for Friday and Saturday. So overnight tonight, clouds will continue to increase. Cold lows in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Mostly cloudy tomorrow. Maybe a little filtered sun in our northern counties. It will continue to be chilly with a few showers down to the south, 58 to 60 for the high. All right, seven-day forecast. We have four weather-aware days. And keep in mind, weather-aware days are when we have a better better than 50-50 chance of rain inconveniencing your plans, outdoor plans, at some point during the day. And that's the case on Wednesday, 60 to 65. Thursday, a little sun. Uh, those scattered thunder showers kind of diminish. We soar to 80, but very windy. And then the showers and thunder showers really increase on Friday, and then they slowly diminish on Saturday. So a couple of weather aware days there. Sunday should be a nicer day, but another round of scattered thunder showers later in the afternoon will be ending later on Sunday night. So we go from low 60s to around 80 here, uh, Brad and Shelley, but we'll certainly feel a lot better this upcoming weekend. All right, quite a change. Thanks a lot, Wayne.